All right then. So, because of my chuck box slice saw video did quite has done quite well for me. I think it's above um, seven eight hundred views now. Maybe it's less. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. I should have looked before I started to make the video. Anyway, it's done quite well for me. Um, it's a few hundred views. I thought I'd look at the chuck box in a bit more depth, do a bit of a review on it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. So, as, the, as I said already, this is going to be like a review thing. A little bit of history between this um, chuck box. Um, I had to do a, I had to do something for my engineering apprenticeship um, about three years ago when I finished that. And part of that, we had to design and build something to a budget, etc. The company I worked for at the time, they were supposed to provide us with a project, and they didn't provide us with a project. They weren't interested, so I ended up choosing something myself to do. Um, sorry about the camera constantly focusing and uh, there's not much I can do about it, this is the only thing I've got to film on. And it's, the camera's dying as it is. Anyway, so I decided to build this. Being now with camper, I do enjoy camping a lot. I don't always film it every time I go, but I do enjoy it. Um, I wanted something that when I go out with the family, it's a massive faff. Not only have you got to put a tent up and get everything set up and your living quarters and everything like that, you've got to set up your kitchen and it got to a point where I had the table to fall out, I had uh, all the gas work and the, the cooker to set up and I had a plastic tote box with all my cooking gear in and then you're pecking it out and then if it gets windy or raining you start packing stuff away and everything and I had enough of that. So I started to look at different things that, 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 that are out there, different solutions and I believe it's mainly an American idea and um, they're known as scout boxes or patrol boxes, commonly known as chuck boxes as well. Australians, I know you guys, you still have them as well. Um, I don't know where they ori originate from. They're probably an old idea that's been around since Civil War times, all that kind of thing. So, I know, I just wanted to make my own. And essentially what it is, it's a box that includes your cooking, potentially cleaning, pots, everything like that, all contained. So my idea where when I came to design it from a project with the engineering apprenticeship was I want to be able to take something out of the car when I'm car camping, put it down, and that's it. All I have to do is open it up in the kitchen and it's there, my food's there, everything else is there and the only thing I had to do then was set up the tent as normal. But now so that's, you know, by the by, unless you're, you know, in a van or something, you don't have to do that. Which you could use something like this in a van or whatever you want to choose, you can just use uh, this set up with anything you want. Anyway, I'll go through it and uh, I'll tell you what I've done. The main thing I've done in the three years that I've owned it is I had some uh, telescopic legs on it. And I could adjust them to the different, you know, the idea was to adjust them to different ground levels so I could make it even. Most of the time I found that they're always somewhere I could put it where it would fill level anyway. And if, um, even if the telescopic things were crap, they were a pain in the ass. So all I'd do is just get some rocks or some bit of wood or whatever, just prop it up anyway. So I've decided to put it on some wheels. Which just makes transporting it and get it in and out of the, uh, the workshop a lot easier. Anyway, let's have a look. So, this is the chuck box. As you can see, I've got some wheels. One thing I wanted was a gear bottle on there. It's got nice sturdy handles. Everything's hinged together with uh, piano hinges. You know, to just maximise its um, boldiness, as it were. And everything's hinged together here. Now, you have to bear with me. I am on a gradient. These doors normally stay open on their own, but it's not an issue. You can have a bit of bungee cord or a bit of paracord with you just to prop them open. So, the idea is, you've just set up camp. You took this out of the car, this fully loaded is quite heavy. That's the only thing that I would change is probably make it uh, something a bit smaller um, to make it a bit more lightweight because so it's made out of wood, it is heavy. It is normal ply and it's made of um, it's made of normal ply and I've uh, marine varnished it like four coats and this has been out in all weathers and it's you know it's stood up to it. So um, so the idea is if you get it out of the car, pop it down and it, and it's done. Your kitchen's there, your food's there, your cooking supplies are there, everything you need, you know, to you know to live off while you're camping is contained in this box. 
Saves a lot of faffing. Open it up. Lift the lid. This was just a simple idea. Everything is simple and I made it to a budget because the, the part of the course was I had to do it to a strict budget. So everything was cheap as possible. So there's a little nut. Just unroll up here. This is an old piece of tentpole on there. Pop the nut on. And there you go. And now that isn't going anywhere. So the idea is then the cable. I'll tell you what that is in a second. So the idea is then you've got your cooker, your toaster. This is a new addition I've recently purchased, I've not used it yet. I've got it from RSPCA for £1.50. It's a spare ribs roast holder, whatever. For barbecue, five pit, whatever. I'm going to take it camping at some point. Five pit. But that's the idea, that's your cooker there. Put these open, open the doors up. You got somewhere to hang um, like a rubbish bag or something, pop that down, and then you've got somewhere to, I don't know, if you're not using something, put your kettle down, your pan down, whatever. I've had hot pans on this and it does stand up to it, but if you want to put some like heat proof matting, you could always double side, uh, double side tape it to the bottom or right, something like that. In this door, I've just got some handy size washing liquid, a uh, bag with some tea bags in it, stuff like that, just some carabiners and just bits and bobs. The other thing is you can do, I keep this with it as well, and it's just okay, so I'll fold it out and then you've got two burners. One thing I didn't realise they'd made um, is you can get these in double sets, and when I initially did the CAD for this, um, I measured it up for this one, so I've only got it for this side, so just for an extra burn, i just get that out, get the gas out and away you go, and I've got two bobs. Um, and in here, I store all the other gas. There's a little ledge in there, so you can actually get four of those cans in and two of those big cans in, so you can carry a lot of gas with you if you wanted to. They've been made to the sizes that I use. Yeah, um, and that's that. This uh, USB cable, that's going to go nice. This USB cable is you plug into a power bank, and I've got LED lights in here, which for, you know, late evening, winter, or night time cooking, or just for a bit of camp light. It gives off quite a lot of light, so that's a really good feature of it. <laughs> Another thing is, you have this drawer here. So this drawer houses spatula, cups, knives, fork, and all kind of that kind of thing. Use these like army style cutlery sets and some um, alcohol wipes. You know, just general cleaning. And um, under here, I've got pots and pans, cheese grater. And what you also can, and it's the perfect size to fit your tins in. But because of the ledge, you don't fall over. And you can fit quite a lot of food in there. The other thing that I've got under here is, you know, plates. They slide in and out nice. Flowery ones that were donated to me. But uh, most of the time I take this camping with family, so I've got bowls in there, some egg cups, normal cups and some small plates. Camp kettle, which just sits there. And also, when you're at camp, you just fill your water up, and then you've got water on tap. That slides out on those, um, ex you know, expandable bowls, um, sink bowls. Also, keep a lighter in there as well. And then that's just like a generic cooler. When I go camping, I tend not to fetch any food that's going to spoil. It's all like tin package stuff that I can just add hot water, you know, add water to. Uh, but if I do want to fetch out, I can put a few frozen bottles of water in there. I generally use the um, old ketchup bottles, are good, those small ones. Fr freeze those with some water, pop them in, and they'll last for a few days. So I can fetch a bit of bacon, some fresh meat, whatever in there. And yeah, and that's and that's it really. So, as I say, I could be toasting something on there, pop it down there, and away you go. Um, and I'll add some footage to the video with, you know, this in use, in use while. Smile. That's it for the video then, effectively. That's what, what that's what you get. Um, this I've built for my specifications, my needs. You guys obviously can do what you want. You need to just sit down and think what you want to take with you. 
when I go camping most of the time on my own, so my setup for cooking usually consists of a burner similar to that one, a cog bottle, and a stand and cook set. Do you know what I mean? And it's like a lot simpler, but when I go camping with the wife and my son, I want to be able to, you know, live comfortable with them and make everything easy for me and for my family. So I tend to take this. I only take this if I'm going for at least two nights because it's a lot of effort to load this thing around because it is heavy. Also, there's stuff that I've not included that you would take with your, I don't know, like, you know, wipes and stuff like that. And you're going to take with your camping. But this is just a basic idea of what it is, what I take with me. And, you know, just to give you guys an idea of what you can do. You don't need to spend a lot of money on stuff. And also, I still carry a camping table with me and everything like that to put stuff on. But you've just got less stuff. You don't need to leave your, camp your cooker on the camping table. This, if weather picks in or goes worse, I'm sorry about the camera, I again, I can't do anything about this. If the weather makes a turn for worse, you can just literally just close everything up, absolutely pissing down the rain. You want to get inside a tent and I'll be normal if you'd be faffing around with your cookers and your pots and pans. I mean, if you do it even quicker, I'm just faffing. as well and done that's what basically oh, pretty much watertight I've not had any obviously there's a couple of little gaps in that from use over the last few years but I've not had any water to get in there you know when it's been absolutely pissing it down we're in so you know weather turns boom done that's my kitchen away I can get it in that's it um, wind you know I've got locks on it so wheels can't move wind's not moving that that's a chance as long as you put your wheel shocks on or you know get some bricks there so it can't move whatever just you can secure it so wind ain't going to take it it's not going to roll anyway is it? especially if you put brakes on anyway thank you for watching the video if you like that please consider liking sharing and subscribing and if you're an existing subscriber thank you very much for your continued support until next time bye for now